Oh, well, hey there, ho there, hi there, Rockwall patrons. My name is Paul Mutz, Rockwall Personnel Staff Manager, and today I'll be teaching you one of the most versatile lower core exercises you can do. That's right, we're going to learn to do a backflip together. So I know what you're thinking. There's no way I can learn to do a backflip. That's just insane. Nay, nay. Today I'm going to break it into three components. Component number one is understanding the components. Component number two is practicing them. And component number three is putting them all together and performing. All right, let's get started. All right, so understanding the components. I know a lot of you have seen people do it before. They throw their arms up and then they bring their knees to the chest. Uh, more often than not, I hear confusion that people think that the arm throwing is what gives you rotation. But nay, nay, nay. Throwing your arms actually helps give you height to your jump and then your rotation comes from how fast you're able to snap your knees to your chest. So, the higher you want to go, depends on how hard you're going to throw those arms, and how fast you're going to spin is how hard you're able to snap your knees to your chest. So, just keep that in mind as you keep going forward. Alrighty, Rockwallers, now we're on to the practicing portion. So, you'll notice that when you make your stance, you want your feet about shoulder width apart, maybe a little bit less, definitely not more. And your thumbs will be facing the back. They're not sideways, they are facing the back. Because if I do sideways, it's going to be painful. When you bend down, you want to make sure your butt is a nice full flex. And when you stand up, your arms are reaching the top of your body at the apex of your foot extension. Imagine that you're kind of stepping all the way through to your big toe. That's what you're doing there, okay? All right, guys, uh, next up, we're gonna do some ground practice. This is just a better way for you to get in line your transition of when your arm's at the top and to when you need to bring your knees to your chest. So what you're gonna be doing is you lay down, arms at your side, thumbs facing at the top, and you're going to throw your arms up, and then immediately after you do this, throw your knees to your chest. Um, in real time, it will look a bit more like uh, you'll notice that my knees come up fast. That's what's going to need to happen. So. Alright guys, so last couple things I recommend doing is do some ankle walks where you have your feet pointed in, you have your feet pointed out, and you know, maybe on your toes. Just get them nice and warmed up because you never really know how you're going to land. You want to make sure that you're as warmed up as you can be there. Also, shoulders, a little bit of forward rolls, a little bit of backwards rolls. If you're gonna go up top, you know it. And so that way, when you do your little practices, ugh, everything is nice and stretched out, ready, ready. Alrighty guys, uh, last but not least is the or performance. You're gonna be combining everything with learn. So look straight ahead, try and keep your head, eyes forward, knees straight at a bend, thumbs ready at the sides, Three, two, one. Oh, try two. All right, so it's core exercise because we're gonna have to do it more than once. So trial two. Three, two, one. Close. All right, third time's the charm. Three, two, one. There we go. <laughs> All righty, guys. So there you have it. That's how you do a backflip. Um. If I were working out, I'd maybe do 10, 15 of these in a row, and you would feel it. Snapping those legs has a bigger effect than you'd think. Uh, for liability's sake, don't do it unless you're a trained professional. Um, but, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. And we'll toss some more material your guys' way. Have a good day.